Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Um, I missed last week due to illness, um, I was bedridden for about a week, um, so that's why I missed last week's. Um, but there's still a lot to talk about. Um, four teams in plan due to the EFL Cup Final, but there's still games to be played. And there's a lot of talking points, let's say, about VAR. Um, but before we get started, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. But first, this video is sponsored by LOL T shirt company. I sell my merch, the link for my merch is down in the description below. So, let's talk about before I get down to my first prediction as well, because this is a real major issue, I think. Two ref Premier League referees um, failed their fitness test. The Premier League said. And this is no word of a joke by reports that um, they could do it again. I mean, really, Premier League? Come on. Are we running a football government body? Or are you running a football government body, I should say? Or are, we running a, are you running a circus? Because to me, it sounds like we're running a massive circus and we're just along for the ride. But that's your Premier League problem. And uh, yeah, I really would. Like to see what their opinion is going to be on this, and uh, the VAR decisions I'm about to talk about as well. It don't look, you know, it looks like a big circus to us. So come on, start answering. Um, I've also got the EFL Cup final at the end of this video as well. Um, but anyway, guys, that's enough talk about our situation. A lot more situations to come up. So guys, let's get into, get let's get down to it, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Norwich versus Leicester. Um, I'm just going to talk about the results first of all. Um, Leicester losing one 0 at, at home to Manchester City. Manchester City are in the cup final. Um, Norwich losing three 0 at home to Wolverhampton. No real biggie. Um, Leicester had a handball against them, um, and. It was given as a penalty. I thought it was a penalty. Fair enough. But then De Gorna did exactly the same sort of thing. And there's no penalty. There's no consistency in the Premier League this year. Um, I've known it for quite a while. But to see it there in black and white makes us makes me think, I don't know about you fans, people free to put your comments down below, that they really don't bother, if you know what I mean? Um... I mean, I can't, I'm not sure of your name, but Leicester fans said it. There's no consistency. There should be a format um, in the referees' games these days. And I know there's a lot of referees going around. Um, where if they're not doing their job, they get relegated. So if you're Premier League, you don't do your job for about, say, three weeks, you go down to the Championship and have a promotion relegation thing in there. Because players... Uh, referees that failed their fitness test and then the Premier League and the FA go, no, that's okay, it's not good enough. They should um, be relegated down to the Championship or lower league. And we should get there's no new referees either, which frustrates me a lot. But back to this game, um, I'm gonna go for a 2 1 Leicester win. My next one is Brighton over Albion versus Crystal Palace. Um, Obviously a rivalry between the two clubs, um, big rivalry as well, uh, if you know where I'm from, you know what I know about the rivalry. Um, it's one of them rivalries um, that don't really make sense if you look at a map, that's all I'm going to say. Um, it used to be closer, to, I think, because where the Goldstone ground used to be, but Obviously, where the MS is, but you have to really look at the history of the uh, between the two clubs to understand the big rivalry that the two clubs have got. Um, over to the results quickly. Chris um, Brighton drawing one one away to Sheffield United. That's f yeah, the third draw for Brighton on the bounce. Um, Crystal Palace beating Newcastle one 0 at home. Um, Crystal Palace only picking up four points out of their last five. Brighton. Doing the same. Um, 
only difference is Palace won one of their games and drawn one um, as well as Brighton have drawn four and lost one so that's the only difference um, but big talking points again in the Brighton and Sheffield United game I mean massive Lewis Dunk got stumped on the leg and yes I do not happen in the Tottenham um, Chelsea game um, but I Yep, took them our plan, but I'm still going to talk about this. Um, where's the VAR? I mean, I've never seen it like referee these here. I mean, I must be, I only did, you know, catch quick highlights, but um, there's no, you, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to keep on saying it. There's no consistency with the VAR. And our, our, our oh, Premier League referee is good enough for the Premier League. I mean, um, and I wonder why I don't get choose for the World Cup of the Year. This is why. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a 2 1 Brighton win. My next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Um, Bournemouth, just going through the results quickly. Um, you know, losing 3 0 away to Burnley. Chelsea beating Tottenham 2 1 at home. Um, right, I want to talk about more on this stomp because it was the Quetta. Um, Chelsea, I think he's the right back, and um, got stomped on. Right, there's three big key situations, and this. With the Premier League, I don't like, obviously I like it, but the way it's being run, and no new sort of VAR pitch on monitors, it makes me feel a bit sick to my stomach, um, and makes me less joyful with, you know what I mean. Um, I'd rather go watch La Liga or Serie A, or, you know, it's supposed to be the best league in the world, and it's really ain't turning out that way. Um, but, you look at... Right, so the stomp happened, went to VAR, fair enough, you got the VAR official, call him that, I think that's what I called anyway, saying not a red card. Okay, so I thought fair enough. 20 minutes later, after the game's been resumed, they said it was a red card. Okay, take action after the match. Then the FA have the audacity to say we're not taking no further action because it's been looked at the adjudicator through people. So what you're saying is then, if you get stomped, if you're a stomper, let's call them that, and you get off of the challenge at the final whistle, and you don't gonna, you ain't gonna, nah. Um, but yeah, it really is frustrating. Another thing is, with that decision, the VAR guy apparently had two months beyond that screen. Um, why did Mark Horford go look at the on-field monitors? This Premier League is becoming such a circus. Um, and if the Premier League don't get sorted out very soon, I'm, you know, I can see it going downhill real quickly. Um, losing spectators, losing money. You know, we brought the VAR in. Well, I thought they brought the VAR in to help the refs. The referee, the VAR, sorry, is there for, you know, to clear up situations. Use it for that. Don't use it as a proper referee. It's not a proper referee, is it? Um, but it really is frustrating. Um, Chelsea currently sitting in fourth with five points. Um, Bournemouth... Um, sitting in 16th, 6 points out of their last 5 games. I think Chelsea are going to win this one quite easily and I'll go for a 3-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Newcastle versus Burnley. Um, Burnley beating Bournemouth 3-0 at home. Good 3 points for Burnley. Um, big talking point in that game as well. Um, another talking point. Um, Crystal Palace, uh, sorry, Newcastle losing 1 0 at home to Crystal Palace. Um, right. 
this situation makes me get my teeth really grip, uh, you know, really grippy. Um, Bournemouth had a ball um, handballed. Um, you know, I do think it was handballed, but then they let play go on. And then Burnley go, um, not Burnley, Bournemouth go all the way down the other end and score. Goal disallowed, has to get the penalty. Why not just stop play? This is another situation we're coming up with. They don't want to stop play because they don't want to, you know, keep stop, stop play because of us fans. But then, if you're a Bournemouth fan, please tell me how you feel down that, uh, about that goal because... If I was there, I'd be feeling really annoyed um, with that. It's VAR. I mean, it's not VAR itself, bless it, but it's becoming a joke with the Premier League. I'm not saying VAR is a joke. I'm saying with the Premier League, the way the Premier League are using it, it's an utter joke. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for Newcastle to go get a point, and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Southampton. West Ham um, losing 3 2 away to Liverpool. Very close game that was as well. Um, Southampton beating Villa 2 0 at home. Um, West Ham. Um, I thought we were very unlucky in that game against Liverpool. I feel. Slightly sorry for Fabianski for the way the ball went between his legs. Um, but I think West Ham deserve a point out of that game. Maybe the maximum three points. I thought Liverpool were very lucky indeed um, over that game. Over the other game. Um, you know, Southampton. Uh, you know, beating for the 2 now, probably three points needed by Southampton, going up in 12th with six points. Um, they're going up against an OK West Ham side that's only got a point within their last five games. But don't forget that West Ham game, I think they deserve a point, maybe all three. Um, but as far as this result goes, I've got to go for a Southampton win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Southampton win. My next one is Watford versus Liverpool. Um, Watford losing 3-0 away to Manchester United. Uh, Liverpool uh, beating West Ham 3-2 at home. Yet again, I got that word again with Liverpool. Very, very lucky. Um, as far as the lights of how tight it was, I think it's the 86th minute Liverpool scored uh, that third goal. Um, very lucky indeed with how far, um, you know, how Liverpool got the three points. As far as this game goes, I'm going to, actually I'm going to predict what for the win. I don't don't ask me why, but I'll be watching. I will be watching this game, and I'll be going for a two-one Watford win. Don't ask me why. It's just something. Um, obviously, I was unwell when Liverpool played at Atletico Madrid in the first leg of the Champions League, and if Liverpool played anything like I did the way last night as I'm recording this. Atletico Madrid were taking them apart, in my opinion. Um. The next one is a good one, and it always brings excitement to me, is Everton versus Manchester United. Everton, you know, losing 3-2 um, away to Arsenal. Man United beating Watford 3-0. Um, Everton were very lucky not to get a point out of that game. Again, um, yeah, again, they had a chance to take all three. It was one of them games where you didn't want it to win from a neutral perspective point of view. Um, Everton, you know, picking up eight points from their last five games. Man United picking up seven points from their last five games. 
I think Everton might do this one. And I'm going to go for a 3 2 Everton win. My next one is Tottenham versus Wolverhampton. Um, Tottenham loses 2 1 away to Chelsea. Wolverhampton um, beating Ittridge 3 0 at home. Now, I've already spoken about the VAR situation with the Tottenham Chelsea game. But now I'm going to address it. From the top right, so Premier League said this to the right waiver. So now at Premier League, no longer faces banned, means he can play this game against Wolverhampton. It means he can also score and win a game for Tottenham, and you know shouldn't even be allowed on the field really. Um, but this really does make me laugh. Um, but um, I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. That's the end of my Premier League. The EFL Cup final between Aston Villa and Manchester City. Um, there's no real point putting the league perspective into this uh, prediction because of the, uh, you know, it don't really mean much. Anyone could win on their day. Aston Villa as a whole... Um, I feel it's really hard to predict this year. Um, yeah, okay, I've had their good spell, I've had their bad spell, but I seem never to get any real consistency um, with this. Uh, Premier League, fair play to them for getting you to the cup final. Uh, I will be watching it, I believe it's on Sunday. Um, but... You know, same with City. No, they got consistency going eventually. Um, possibly their only chance of silverware. Obviously, I think Man City is it than the FA Cup. Obviously, the Champions League as well. But you know, first chance of set of silverware this year. But I'm gonna go for a two-one Manchester City win. But anyway, guys, you know what? Because uh, big fat fun. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Show, man.